Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ercha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who've taught us this truth, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Once again, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So this is going to be a super quick lesson. All right, my phone's about to die anyway. I'm going to entitle this, um, <clears throat> how, do we, how do we hide ourselves, you know? How do we hide ourselves from the evil to come, okay? Or how do we prepare for the evil to come? And the truth is, we've been preparing, you know? We've been preparing already, all right? This is uh, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 12. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So we know that this great evil is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming, a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before since there was a nation. It's going to be great death. It's going to be famine. It's going to be complete chaos and, and, and craziness out here. Bodies just dropping, 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 man. You know, second verse, the ninth chapter says, uh, as a wave compared to a drop. That's how many people is going to uh, get put to death compared to how many is going to be saved. It's going to be great death out here, great fear out here. It's going to be, it's going to get crazy out here. Okay. So how do we, how do we hide ourselves from that? You know, how do we prepare for that? As the scriptures say, a prudent man perceived the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Guess what? This is how we've been preparing. This is second Edges nine and seven it says, and everyone that shall be saved, right? Cause from this great death that's coming from this great craziness that's coming. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. That's how, man. By doing the works and by having faith in Yahweh by Hashem al Shai. That's how we'll be able to escape these times. Okay? Again, seeing the evil and hiding yourself, when you hide yourself from evil that's about to pass, like you got all these horror movies, you guys do Michael Myers. He be out here slaying people, man. Right? He's the, he's the evil that that comes, right? And he be slaying people. Somebody will hide. Usually they always get him, right? But let's say somebody uh, 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 hides, and then he he leaves the house, and then it's safe, right? How do well, how do we be safe like that from Jacob's trouble? I read it again, Second Judges nine and seven. You know, so how do we prepare so that we can be safe in that time? People always want to prepare, you know. It's not by stockpiling food. It's not by stockpiling ammo. It's by second of just nine and seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Okay? So that's why we do these works. Because when we do these works and we believe in Yahweh Basham Shai, that's how we'll be able to hide ourselves during these times. That's how we'll be able to uh, prepare. And it's not physically hiding. What we're going to be hidden from, you know, which I'll speak upon us at the end of my last uh, lesson, but I just want to get into this point. But how are we going to how are we going to hide ourselves is that the most high is going to be the one to hide us, you know, so to speak, because this is Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. See, so the mark is that mark of exemption. So now in verse five, it says, and to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So this is the commandment that the Most High is going to give to the angels during Jacob's trouble, during all hell breaking loose to just wreak havoc upon the earth, bringing that famine, bringing these little, these mini pocket race wars, these class wars, bringing all hell breaking loose, man. And when that evil comes, right, and we and we are and we hard our right and we're hidden, the reason why we're hidden is because we was doing these works, and because we did these works, right, and because we believe, and now we're able to escape. The reason why we're gonna escape is because the Lord's gonna put that mark of exemption on us. That is how we prepare for uh, uh, Jacob's trouble, man. Not by a uh, uh, stockpiling and this and that. No, we prepare now every single time we do these lessons. Every time we go on the highways and byways. That is us preparing for this time to come. 
and we just leave it up to the most high. He's going to put the mark of exemption on us. And when these angels is out here, Ezekiel 9 and 6, slate utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. See, so, you know, that's how we're going to be able to escape uh, uh, during these times, man. By doing these works now and believing in Yahweh Shai. And this is also Matthew, uh, uh, actually Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So we will be worthy to escape these things if we do the works, if we watch, if we pray, all right, if we have faith in Yahweh Shai. Shai. Don't think that because you got guns, you're going to survive it out and pop your head out. No, only if you believe in the Lord.